Day 16,380 at Eldora. It is day three. As you guys know, they ended up canceling the rest of the night last night. So we went and ate some dinner and hung out again. Um, a lot of people left. Uh, folks that didn't make the show already, they left. And then some people just simply have long ass drive home and work obligations and things like that. Lucky for us, we're only two and a half ish hours away from home. So as long as we can get out of here at a decent hour, it shouldn't be a big deal. Um, just getting things ready. We've actually moved pit spots. We were pitted right down there. And uh, spot opened up next to this freaking 5M car. This guy here. So we moved up here a little bit higher ground, drier ground. So what are you doing, bud? What's, what's all this? Waste of effort. It's just. This is muddy. You need a pressure washer. Mop, pressure washer. Wow. But everybody's getting getting out and around. Pit gates open here soon. Uh, got a few little things to go through. We get to hot lap today. That's nice. We can try something. Um, they've been working on the track since first thing this morning. They had tractors out there, tilling it up and turning it over and trying to get it dried up a little bit. Um, campsite areas they cleared out a little bit too looks like mom and dad are gonna get to move their rig uh, up a little closer we'll uh get things around here get this day started anderson we move back to the next row which should be row number five it'll be oliver gentry in the zero three. i got it brandon brown brandon brown yeah we bump back uh, <laughs> to row number six. Brandon Brown out of Hansville, Alabama, and then I believe it should be BJ Gregory, the Ohio racer out of Lions. Then it's Rick Morris. All right, lights are out. Getting ready to roll green, 25 laps. Be safe, guys. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, 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 yeah.
with like two or three to go first start of the race we weren't bad and then we had a restart and some some guy i don't know he, i think kind of stupid he tried to go in the infield where it was muddy because he thought that was going to help and just completely coated the shield in mud and uh so that that didn't help because going down the front stretch you couldn't see shit you know and then the sun in turn four, like you really, there was like a part of turn four where people would have been wrecking, you would have drove right into it because you, the sun was right in your eye. And um, so anyhow, we get shuffled back, um, running around there, starting to figure out what we need to do. Went to the top, it was better, it was rough, it was really, really rough. And um, right before a caution come out, I noticed the car started kind of feeling like the motor was flat a little bit. What the hell? And I had a big chunk of shit packed in the left rear because it had a, had a hell of a vibration. So under caution, I went to weave the car around to get it out and the motor like, I, I was either, I, something was either broke or it knocked a plug wire off. So we get into the hot pit, tell Brandon and dad, hey, check the plug wires, man. I think it knocked one off. Sure as shit, knocked the plug wire off. We were able to put that back on luckily. Go back out, started the tail. Matter of fact, started the tail about a half a track behind the field ran the field down, got a caution as soon as I caught the back of the field, 
and then we went on a charge man we drove up to i think almost ninth i mean the car was pretty good it was just trying to survive drove up to ninth before um another chunk of shit broke a fan blade and knocked a coolant bypass line off so that mark in the shroud there is where the fan blade hit it that's the broken fan blade down there and there is the bypass line that got ripped right out. You can see the mud pack down in there. So here's another interesting perspective. Look at that sail panel right there. That's just from shit hitting it. That's why it's bad. This is another impressive one. Shit hitting it. You look at my windshield tape. So that didn't help. That was gone on lap one. And that was the only thing that would shield the sun out of your eyes coming off the floor. So, a little bit of damage, tire mark, nothing. I mean, honestly, for as bad as that the track was, and the way some of this, some of these guys came off, I'm not really, not really disappointed about it. We were pretty good, all things considered. So, it was ripping noses off of cars, and you know, some people fared a lot worse than we did. So. There's our steel blog weekend in Eldora. I mean, I, I, you know, I'm happy we came down. Uh, I, I think we were pretty damn good. It's just a matter of uh, trying to get a little bit smoother track next time, hopefully, and continuing to learn. So, yeah. Where'd you end up, Zach? You got any thoughts? Talk about it. Shouldn't have lifted on lap 12. That got me in a bad spot. Yeah. I did. Yeah. It's fun though. I mean, hundred laps gonna be hard. I can tell you that. Oh There's no man. way. Yeah. I don't, uh, it's Eldora though. It was fun. Yeah. Just, you lift one time for you lift, and it gets you in a bad spot, and before you know it, you're running fourth, and then you're in seventh in the blink of an eye. So. Yeah. But this place ain't nothing like it. It's a blast. Yeah. You, what's your thoughts? I gave them all my thoughts. I mean, it was. It was rough as shit, but like once I figured out how to run it, right. we were pretty good. We were charging back through the field and knocked a radiator out of the damn thing. Oh, so get it shut down in time. Man. Yeah, it didn't hurt nothing. Broke the fan blade, uh, ripped the coolant line off. But I don't know. It's it's hard on stuff, but it's really hard on stuff when it's like that. Yeah, I've been out here for about seventy-five thousand days. Yeah, what weather? <laughs> cold. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. We'll try again next year. Try huh? again next year. But uh, we're, we're going in the box in one piece, I guess. That's agreed. <laughs> agreed. Cool, man. Good job. Good morning, everybody. It is Monday morning. Bob and I have vacation days today and tomorrow that we were going to get some stuff around the house done. But as you see, she's filthy. BJ and Brandon had to work. And we just found out over the weekend that Fremont will be making up the race that was rained out tomorrow. So, Bob and I are in the process of trying to get some things cleaned up for them, hopefully to help them out. I think that they have a lot of work to do this evening to 